Hi guys, welcome to the channel. Today we're going to be going through the Boston Manor Crocus music video lighting breakdown. Now, I did not film this at all. It was just upstairs. Zach Pynchon, uh, Matt Gentleman, Ross Carson and Patrick Haynes. It was all them in Boston Manor. A fantastic video, but I was lucky enough to be able to tag along and help set up a few bits. Uh, because of this, I was able to get a few BTS and I thought it'd be quite cool to break down the lighting that's going on here because, well, it's fantastic. As you can see, if you haven't already watched the video, I will link the video in the description. So make sure you pause and check that video out if you haven't already. If you have seen that video, hopefully this gives you sparks a few ideas for you or you just enjoy the breakdown. Let's get into it. So before I start, I should probably explain that uh, this was shot on the Blackmagic Ursa G2, uh, I believe that's 4.6K. Um, they were using the Zeiss Speed um, Mark III lenses, all the primes, fantastic. A majority of this was actually shot on a 14mm, which is a super wide lens, um, but it all looks fantastic. So a uh, majority of it was shot on a 14mm, 35mm, and then there is some 85mm shots uh, in here. I'll point those out when we change. Uh, but yeah, I thought it would be cool, cool to go through a few of the stills that I've got of this and um, just explain how it was lit, how it was done. So let's go through this. So starting with the first shot, the start of the group shot here. So in fact, let's go to a wider shot so you, we can see it so I can properly explain everything. Here we go. This is a great shot. Before uh, before we even started lighting properly, we had to make sure that the whole room was blacked out. Uh, now, this was a fantastic um, kind of industrial kind of factory type place, which is fantastic for recording the places uh not the places the prices are really cheap i'll link it in the description but the curtains only covered so much so you can see here that actually um there's been some polystyrene boards just pushed up just to help uh the last bit of the um of the glass being covered so that we had complete control over what was going on and it's not no light leaking in i mean you can see here there's a little bit of light leaking in but there's only so much we can do um we can do with that if we go here you can see that we've got uh, we've got the uh, stereotyping tubes up here. We've got four on this side, four on this side. We've got two here, two at the front, two at the side here. This really helps. Uh, now, if we go into uh, the rest of this, behind here, we have a 600D. So if we go, when we've got it on, this is just the 600D on. It's blasting through a whiteboard. That helps spread it. Otherwise, with the reflection, you get a hot point. Um, so this gives it this great spread of light and makes it look, I mean, it looks like a massive light panel itself, but actually what's going on is, and you'll see in the BTS I've got, it's a 600D blasting into the whiteboard, uh, the white card, the white card is then, uh, you know, diffusing it a little bit more and that diffusion is then being picked up by this cloth diffusion that's just attached to a wooden frame. And then when lit gives this incredible, incredible, um, almost like a massive like light panel effect. And when that's not on, uh, they, we've got some examples of the chain tubes here. Uh, these are for the wider shots where there were no key lights used. Um, director Zach was controlling these on the apps and he was choosing when he wanted them on and when he wanted them off. Strobes, when not strobes, when on, when off, having complete control of this. Um, so that's all, the choice of the lighting was all down to him when it was going to be on, when it was, uh, wasn't going to be on. So if we go right back to the beginning, we'll start with this first shot here. So, like I said, we've got the Titan tubes on, we've got the 600D in the background, but we also have a 300D in Octodome. Really big softbox here, which helps give this really nice, really nice subtle um, key light and really just, it just looks really good, um, as you can tell here. So that's helping light the majority of the band, but also our vocalist here. If we go to this shot here, where it's real close up here, we can see that we've got this nice, uh, nice exposed parts here, but then really dark here and almost like silhouettes in the background here Really cool shot go here to the drummer and then they are lit from The lit majority of the light is coming from these Astera tubes and the massive 600d behind them uh, Powering it which gives a lot of ambient lighting But also if you think about it, we've got white skins here Which is going to help bounce and expose our face a little bit more you can see here these arms aren't as exposed Whereas this face is again same similar here we've got a white background here or a white drop here which is going to help you know it's going to help bounce the light up uh, and also you've got the astero tubes you can see here in the reflection of his glasses that there's actually an astero tube there again no reflection here uh, another great shot of the the guitarist here another great shot of top down from the vocalist here singing into the microphone which is being 
just held up with the Maffalini uh, on the frame below and then down uh, it's a uh, hanging down to, to give this cool effect so there's no need for a mic stand but it looks really cool especially this phrase here we've got the uh, we've got the 300D blasting in here and then we go to this shot the 300D is off so you can see what a big difference that's doing uh, the rest of the band not so much you can see a little bit of it but really it's just for exposing these face shots here so next we go to these silhouette shots where it's just the 600D again creating a really cool effect uh, especially with the vocalist here sorry um, the dancer here you can also well you can't really make out but there's a few more dancers here what really helped to make this shot look even better is that they let us wet down the floor and that just helps is you know if you want to make anything look a little bit more well help with reflecting light if you wet down the floor it's going to help now obviously it has to be like a pavement or or concrete or something you can't just wet down carpet it's not going to give you the same effect but wetting down uh, the concrete floor here really did a great job and you can see it's just here really helping uh, so no stereos on all just coming from the 600d in the background here um, well actually no telelight there were none here but now we've got a few these are coming on the stereos stereo tubes here are on but nothing else is other than the 600d there's a few silhouette shots these look really cool this is a really cool shot how we've got the uh we've got the 600d blasting through the back i think it was actually shot on the lens baby so um cry joy do a lens baby 35 and to get these b camera shots to help save time they had a black magic uh 6k pro i think it was a 6k pro or a 6k and they had a that and they're just focusing out and focus out it gives these really really cool effects i've used it on a few music videos myself to create these like weird weird textures uh for storylines but yeah done a really great job there Here's a perfect shot of all the lights on, sorry, all the Astera light tubes on, but not the 600D. So these lights are really powerful. Now I've got one behind me, oh, sorry, I've got a Amaran T4C behind me, which does a great job. But the thing that gives these, these 600, oh, sorry, these Astera Titan tubes, the edge is one that they can, you can map it. So you can have one light coming through, traveling through uh, this flow technology. Also, they're a lot lighter. They, um, they've got built-in batteries, but also they're like, it's just massively tube like a lot of things like the pavo tubes you can see like it's like where the battery is or towards the end of it you get this massive uh like black bit here where like the battery is and that's understandable same with the amaram it has a massive handle which is great but you can also just uh plug it in from the mains whereas the stereo tubes just takes all that away uh so yeah getting back to this my little rant about how why i love astero tubes um we've got here just fully lit by astero tubes it's looking great looking fantastic um and it's really bringing the ambient light up here of the whole shot and then we go here and it's just 600d you can just tell the difference between it is fantastic and obviously i'll be running bts uh, of what i got along this the whole time next we've just got the shots here and this was just the dancer uh but we've got her with the 300D in front of her with a massive Oxlome softbox just in front of her. And this helps to expose her, but as you can tell nothing else in the background is exposed. Got another shot of this, another shot of this, another shot of this. More dancers starting to appear and the dancers did an incredible job. I do need to link them below. They did fantastic. If you're ever in Bolton or you think about dancing and you need to be in Bolton, definitely check them out. Uh, then we just got some, uh, some kind of like audience dancer perspective shots of uh, the band playing with a massive backdrop of the 600D and then this is a really really cool silhouette uh, silhouette shot where we've got just the 600D uh, really like I think this is the 85 millimeter on at this point so you've got the 85 on uh, just the silhouette uh, the 600D in the background just really creating this really cool effect and then here's a silhouette shot of all the band and that's it that is the breakdown of the lighting um so i hope that this was useful for you it was a really cool day for me again shout out to boston manor uh just upstairs zach pinchin and matt gentleman for letting me come along and help there were definitely more people i'll mention them down below um I, again i've linked the video if you want to re-watch it check out boston manor they're really really great band really nice to and really nice to me and everyone on set and yeah hopefully you can steal some ideas from this or just help you helps to explain how it was lit Please think about liking, subscribing and commenting. I hope you enjoyed this and yeah, see you later. Bye.